morning, welcome back to the channel. Today, as you can see, I've got my G23 series with us. And what we're going to be doing in this video today is we're going to be talking about the five reasons why you should consider buying the G23 series. I'm not sponsored by BMW, by the way. So one of the reasons why you should buy yourself a G23 series is for its design. Right now it's probably one of the best looking compact sedans on the market compared to the Audi A4 which is a little bit boring. The C-Class has been around for quite a number of years. The Jaguar XE, it's had a refresh but it doesn't look much different to the one that it's going to replace and this G23 series has got that real aggressive look. The front end for instance has got that prominent grille. Yes, it kind of splits opinions but I think on the car like this it just about pulls it off. I like how BMW have sculpted the bonnet. You got these aggressive lines that run from the top of the bonnet and they flank right down to the black kidney grille. So as we move into the interior of the car we can see how the design language of the exterior complements the interior design. We are flanked by these two LCD displays, one for the driver and one for the infotainment system and they are packed with technology in themselves. So now for example if we just put the car in ignition, the driver's display is showing obviously the driver's information stuff like your speedo, um, your MPG and that kind of a thing and your rev counter, your fuel etc. As we move towards the infotainment system, this in my opinion is probably the best on the market. Yes you've got MBUX from Mercedes, you've got Audi's, I think it's called the MMI and Jaguar has got its own as well for uh, its JLR products. This is probably in my opinion the most intuitive to use because you obviously have the swivel wheel here, you've got my assistant's legs over there. so. Want to say hello? No. Okay, she doesn't want to say hello, so we'll carry on. Uh, so yeah, we've got obviously the iDrive system here and some shortcuts and what have you. I could do a full in-depth review if you want off this iDrive 7, but I think another feature that I actually like is when you fire the car up, it actually has, if it fires up, there we go, it has a head-up display, which is right in the line of sight of the driver, and it gives like information like sat-nav, uh, directions uh, when you put it into sports mode which we will do like now you get a rev counter as well that shows up on there and yes it does work so when I rev the car you can obviously see that increasing apologies if the focus is not right there in terms of other te technical uh, stuff that the car comes with I'm just gonna switch the car off here um, as you can see here it's got connected music Spotify this is all touchscreen as well so you know you can just go into home screen it is gesture control as well so you can do things like that and it moves on to the next um, radio station you can go backwards there we go it goes back to what it was and you've got gesture control for the volume by just swiveling the, the fingers around there you go so you can just wiggle your fingers around and it just puts up the volume tech wise it is quite a connected car so for example you got a wireless uh, tray over there my phone's not wireless so there's no light but usually there's a light there that comes on it turns blue um, obviously you got some cup holders and what have you you also get lane keeping assist you get low speed collision warnings as well so all of this stuff is pretty much standard the gesture control the two sort of big screens and what have you and uh, the head-up display that's part of a technology pack which is an optional extra so ideally the only two packs that you really need with a car like this is the M Sport Plus pack to have your car looking the way it should and the tech pack for your car to come with all of these technology upgrades. So this car is super comfortable. It's not limo comfortable because obviously it's not a 7 series or a 5 series but for a 3 series it's the most comfortable 3 series yet. I honestly believe that it's more comfortable than an Audi A4. I have spent a bit of seat time in an Audi A4, a friend of mine's got one and I do always end up coming out of that car with a bit of a bad back. With this one, these seats, they're really like comfortable. They've got the right amount of bolstering, the right amount of cushioning. And even after a four hour journey, yes, I have done that on the motorway. I feel on the other end when I come out, 
I feel just as refreshed. The car also comes with acoustic glass, um, the front screen and these side uh, windows here, they're double glazed so it keeps all of like the engine noise, the road noise out of the cabin. These A pillars as well, they're filled with foam so you literally can just sit back, relax and enjoy the drive. So it is super comfortable. So the G20 offers a wide variety of engines. I've got a 2 litre diesel engine, codenamed the B47. It produces 190 horsepower, 400 newton meters of torque. And that's plenty when you want to just plod along on the motorway and put your foot down and, and it responds effortlessly. You can go for a 3 litre straight 6 diesel, which is the 330 diesel. That has around about 260 odd horsepower and much more torques than this one. And that gives you a nice blend of power and economy. You can have it as a hybrid, which is the 330E, and that gives you electric range when you're pulling around town, and then on the motorway it goes into a, a petrol engine um, that is a 2 litre engine. You can have the G20 as a M340i derivative, which basically means it's an M light car. It comes with a 3 litre straight six turbo engine producing something like 380 odd horsepower, 500 newton meters of torque, and it's an absolute blistering machine when you're driving it around another news is that if you order a 3 series like now uh, for April or May deliveries chances are you're gonna get the same engines with mild hybrid technology which basically means you'll get a little bit more power and a little bit more economy out of each engine I'm not too sure if that's gonna happen with the M340i but it's certainly happening with this 320 diesel so you'll get a 320 diesel with an electrification mild hybrid system so it's gonna give you a little bit more power perhaps and definitely a bit more uh, economy so that's great news and that's another reason why you should be looking forward to buying a G23 series. One of the reasons why you would choose to buy a G23 series over something like a Mercedes C-Class or an Audi A4 and perhaps even the Jaguar XE is that you buy a BMW because of its dynamic handling and how the car actually drives. And this 3 Series, I mean I've had the F30 before, this one is leaps ahead of any predecessor. The way this car is just set up is absolutely brilliant. In the sense that you've got adaptive suspension when you opt for the M Sport Plus Pack. And that really makes this car very unique in the way it drives. You can have the damping set to comfort like the way I have right now. I'm, I'm pretty much in comfort and it rides along quite good. Yes, I've got the 19 inch alloy wheels which makes the ride a little bit firm, but it certainly doesn't throw the car off the road when it hits like a bump or something like that. I'm just gonna exploit some country lanes right now. And I'm gonna put the car into sport. I've got the car literally set up. And I can honestly say, that it's quite sporty in the way it's kind of set up. The ride does get a little bit firm, but I've, in sport individual, I've got it all slacked off. But I've got the engine power and the gearbox in, in sport, which basically means that the response is phenomenal. It's pretty quick. It's not the fastest thing in this form, but the road holding is absolutely amazing. So if you are one of those drivers who likes to get out in the countryside and have a bit of a spirited drive, definitely buy a 3 Series over its competitors. So guys, I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have been thinking about buying a G23 series, hopefully I've given you a few reasons right there to go ahead and order one of these cars. Definitely be sure to give this video a like, share, subscribe to the channel for more content, whether it's on the G20 or other stuff, you know, in the pipeline that I might have. And hopefully guys, I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.